up in a bad mobile. Hey, I just tell him no deal. What is going on, everybody? It's King Tuts Pro, and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do a Luma Fade uh, slash Vapor Wave uh, Sky Replacement tutorial. It's actually really easy. You guys can use this on your music videos. All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you how to do this from scratch. So this is the original video here, as you can see. I'm gonna mute the video just for now. Uh, so the only thing you guys need is to download this right here, which is called the VHS Overlay Number Two. I'll have that link down in the description so you guys can download it. Once you guys download it and import it into your Final Cut Pro 10 project, then you're good to go. The next thing you're gonna need as well is this right here, which is a uh, Bart Simpson's aesthetic vaporwave background. I will also link that in the description of the video. First, we're gonna drag in this and we're gonna put that in the bottom of the video. And we're gonna have this, as you can see, you can preview it. I'm gonna cut it though from here and delete the rest. And this is already in a grouped layer, just letting you guys know. Um, but just cut it down to whatever, whatever part of the video or the music video you guys want. Then you're gonna have the VHS overlay number two, just drag that right on top of that clip and go ahead and cut the rest here by using the blade tool. And now you have this right here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and click on that one. We're gonna go to the inspector window and we're gonna go into where it says a blend mode. We're gonna go to lighten, so fly and lighten right there. And then we're gonna decrease this to, I don't know, like 40-ish percent. And you can see that some of the edges don't cover that up all the way. So we're gonna just increase the scale just a tad. And then we're gonna move this up a little bit. So I'm gonna click on this and drag that there. And then we'll click done. I think that looks good. So if you want the more of a faded look, you can decrease the opacity or increase it. But play around with the blend modes. Depending on your video, this might change. So I would suggest keeping these and maybe these right here. Um, but it just really depends on the video and the lighting of your video. Each video is going to be different. Uh, we're done with that. So now we're going to apply a Luma gear to the actual video clip. So we're going to go into the effects browser and we're going to go to click on all. And I'm gonna type in Luma, and it's gonna be Luma here. Just drag that into there. Once you guys have done this, of course, the the video that you guys downloaded, the Vaporwave, does have some black bars on the side. So we're gonna to have to increase this all the way, something like that, and click done. So it fits the screen. So now, once we're done with that, we're gonna click back on here, and we'll click invert. All right, and now you're gonna have this. So it's just inverting it. All right. So now we're gonna drag this one over here to the left and then this one over to the right as well. So you don't want this to be on their face because then they're gonna be pink. So just drag that so it only kind of affects the sky and you can uh, increase this to make it more, uh, to increase the strength of it or you can decrease it to kind of make it a little, a little bit more faded. I think that looks pretty good though. You can do the Luma roll off which makes it a lot more less faded. If you guys go to the matte tools, you can adjust this even more. You can change the lighting of that Luma. So you can do, you can adjust the mids. So you can make it a little bit more colorful. Just drag it to the left to adjust those mids. And you can increase the highlights as well. So I'm not gonna adjust everything there. I think everything looks good there. And you're pretty much good to go. It's just that simple. Push play. You have this really cool 90s VHS, 80s, music video vibe going on. And I think it looks really cool. You guys can apply this to your music videos and um, I think it looks cool. So if you guys found this video to be helpful, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.